Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial on how to do the scrolling on your, you know, anyway, for a video. That's the third time, I'm sorry, this is like second, third time I've done did a video. My camp page is messing up, won't save it. Let's hope this one will. Anyway, let's try to get this done. <laughs> it's been like 35 minutes I've been doing this. Okay, anyway, let's get to the point. Alright, uh, how to do this scroll, make it look like this. And then right over here, you're going to put your video, or you can kind of overlap it. Uh, let's say, like, that's almost finished. Say you want to overlap a video, just take this, just drag it, kind of, let's go a little further. And say the video is almost over, then, or the text, and then there you go. Something like that. But anyway, it's about how you want to do that. Let's start over. Let's start new. No, I don't. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to go click over here, go to media generators, go to plain scrolling on black, drag it down in your timeline, and just kind of follow my directions here. Alright, this is going to be like pause tutorial. Oh, brother. Pause tutorial. This is how you want to do this. And go here, uh, my new to T O R I A L D. Uh, anyway, uh, hold on one second, please. Okay, anyway, uh, this is how you do this and do another like uh, program used. Uh, let's just put then you, uh, yeah, you're gonna right click over here and you know, or you can highlight it and backspace, get rid of it. A Sony. Vegas, uh, music, say you got music in the background, you're going to click on that one, because see, as you can see right here, you got this line, that's because you got this type of a header, uh, excuse me again, hold on, okay, anyway, I'm sorry about that, I'm back, uh, what you going to do, then you do another one, say, now this one right here is, you can change it to this right here as you can see left click to a, this will make it like this this will make it like a long writing uh, because as you can see if you try to write something in this one here because it's got that type of a heading look at your little split right there because if it's got that split this is what it's going to do on this one see as you can see it's going to go just keep going like that uh, anyway Uh, my, or say, hope this tutorial. Uh, okay. Ah, sorry, I am bad typer tonight. Thank you for watching this video then if you want to do more you just left click down here and down here and, and so on it'll keep going on and on and on uh, we're going to change that to a regular little thing here so you can see it just changed there uh, text here uh, over here left click it double click your text saying whatever Anyway, now we're going to go over styles. First, we're going to click over here. And we're going to click the play button. Okay, as you can see, it's playing on to your right. If you look to your right. And we're going to pause it. Okay, make sure this is highlighted. Always highlight if you're going to work with something here. See, as it changes over here. Okay, we're going to bold this. And when I do, that should make it brighter. Oh, my bad. This one, it's already bold. Uh, go to the right here to make this a little bigger I do about 36 or I could do 48 whichever uh, let me go ahead and put a comma in here uh, there we go and do it that way like the other out of it so it changes uh, we're gonna change the color on that say to a big bright yellow and as you can see it turned yellow go to the next one you can change okay make that bold as you can see when I hit bold 
because of these lines right here and the headers right here and right here it's going to make these all change up through here as you can see watch see that okay now we're going to go ahead and uh, change the color to say a lighter blue uh, program use now we're going to highlight uh, excuse me uh, bold that and that as you can see it made them bolder change the color to like a green it don't matter we're just this is just a tutorial go this one will change it whoops I'm sorry that one's gonna change all that up there too uh, which that one will do the same thing but anyway you get the idea uh, let's click out of here oh wait 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 right here sometimes this uh, long video as you can see what's gonna happen now you see it made it too long go back to properties here take these little things here and stretch them out like that take that one left click and stretch it out which you can still see it made it still too long let's go to styles Oop, click over here make sure it's highlighted 48 is too big so we're gonna drop down to 36 as you can see it made it smaller let's exit out of here uh, now to change, make it look a little better, instead of just your plain text just coming straight up like this, we'll show you something else. Let me kind of get it going a little bit. Okay, I paused it. We're going to go right here, that compositing mode. Instead of source alpha, go ahead and click on 3D source alpha. Uh, go over here where it says track motion. Now, if, when you moved it, you put your mouse right in the middle like that with that circle. And watch over here uh, to the right. Watch that video. When I do this with this, I can do settings on it however which way I want it to scroll. And now let's go back and see what that looks like. As you can see, which it makes it scroll that direction. And you can also do timelines in it. Uh, anyway, that's how you do that. Let's go and show you how to do to save this. Now, if I want to save this, which I already have my files created in my uh, documents, you go to my documents right here, go right click, go down and say folder, or new, and then folder, new folder. You're going to type what I did right here Sony Vegas uh, saved projects. Uh, for this folder and then you're going to go say that one's already made you're going to right click anywhere in the white right here go back here go to new and there's a new folder too you're going to name that one as Sony Vegas rendered videos anyway I don't need these two folders so I'm going to delete them uh, but anyway that's how you do that uh, let's get, I'm just trying to clean, clean up okay anyway you're going to go ahead save the projects you're going to name this like video 2 whatever uh, hit save then you go when you want to render the video you go here that file go render as but make sure you want to put that when before you start rendering it go to Sony Vegas rendered videos double click that and that's video 2 I'm going to still leave it name the same so I know what it was save as you can see it's going to go ahead and render and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a second uh, while that renders and I'll be right back okay anyway I'm back uh, as you can see the the video is done you can either open it look at it see what it looks like or close it we're going to go ahead and open it and see what it looks like okay and there's your process video for the tutorial on your text uh, media text anyway and that's how you do that so any questions or whatever just leave me some comments and let me know if this video helped you and thank you for watching and bye bye